at a time where we all worried how our planet is going to fare in the future, how we are solving the big problems that humanity faces with the large population, with the problems around climate change and the problems around where we get all the metals for our technology in the future. We are educating problem solvers at RCS. We equip you with the tools and the skills to tackle these problems. Studying at the RSCS is great. It's a top-ranked university in Australia, and it comes at no surprise that the institutions, its facilities, and the researchers here are world-class. You learn about so many cool things. Earth science is just so insanely broad. You get to learn things from classic sedimentology, igneous petrology, and geophysics, all the way to glaciers, tsunamis, and earthquakes. If you choose to study Earth and Marine Sciences here at the ANU, in first year, there are two courses that you can take, which are open to everyone. In first semester, we have Blue Planet, in which you will investigate the geosphere, atmosphere, biosphere, and how they interact with each other to govern the Earth system. In second semester, we have a course called Earth, the chemistry and physics of our planet, and I actually teach the geophysics module in that course. In this course, you'll learn about the key physical and chemical processes that shape our planet on which we live. In both these courses, and in fact in many courses across our sciences, there's opportunities to go on fieldwork, and for many students this will be the highlight of their experience in undergrad. I really enjoy going on field trips because it helps me understand what I'm learning in the classroom by applying it out in the field, plus you get to make lots of friends and have lots of fun. I really love the field trips here at RACS. Uh, second year we went down to Bateman's Bay in Naruma, that was a great time. I only recently just come back from Mount Isa for two weeks. Uh, I've known mates who've been to Japan, uh, out on boats in Naruma. Um, some have even been to the Great Barrier Reef on RCS field trips. Uh, some of the best memories I've had at uni are coming from these field trips, so there's plenty of opportunities to go on them, even sometimes more than two a year. There's plenty of opportunities. Hi, my name is Michael Elwood. I'm um, the Associate Director of Education at RSCS. And today I'm just going to give you a bit of an overview of our programs that we, we run here, especially at the undergraduate level, and then we do some graduate um, programs as well. So at the undergraduate level, we offer programs in Earth Sciences, and so we have two first-year courses, we have four second-year courses which are broken down into various disciplines, including geology, um, geophysics, geochemistry. Um, and then at the third-year level, we offer courses that are at four streams, geophysics, geochemistry, geology, and the climate-related courses. And so within those streams, we try to educate students that they, in, in those sort of disciplines, so that we can understand how the Earth operates. And um, so with the climate courses and the marine courses, we try to understand how the interconnection between climate and Earth sciences. So we look at the past to try and inform about um, the climate of the future. So the potential careers in Earth Sciences are wide and varied. So we have the traditional things that you think about in Earth Sciences and geology, be um, mining and minerals resources. We can also think about ge geological hazards. Um, but we can also think about other things like you know, education. We can think about environmental things, looking at you know, contaminant, contaminants in the environment. We even go through to oceanography. That, that's covered in Earth Sciences, looking at um, how the oceans uh, influence climate, uh, renewable energy, hydropower, and so on. Um, so the number of courses and potential career opportunities are, are wide and varied when it comes to the sciences. Uh, once I finish undergrad here at the RSCS, I'd like to do an honours project. Um, then I'd really be aiming to getting an internship at Geoscience Australia. And after that, if possible, I'd come back and do masters. Once I complete my honours year, there are many options that I could pursue, such as a master's or a PhD program. I don't really know where I'll be in the future, but I'd love to do research or fieldwork. After my degree, I'd like to get a job in critical metals and something to do with government policy. I think it's the way that we can really apply the stuff we learn here to make a more sustainable future for not only us, but the rest of the world. It's such a tiny community here at the Earth Sciences. Really, we're just like one big family. We have a lot of fun together and we're really social, but we still learn heaps. Study Earth Sciences!